the French concept of Nuit Blanche, whereby a city becomes a performance space for a night, has spread throughout the world since it began in 1984. And London is among the capitals marking the occasion at some of its most historic sites. So Belle Lupton went along to see if it's worth losing sleep over. In East London, art is in the air. It's like a happening, you know, it's, it's, it's just like a blowing. Uh, it's just one night and it's excited, it's nice, it's like a performance. Turkish artist Gunesh Terkel was commissioned to create a new piece. She worked with residents of a nearby housing estate to create this banner. And this installation's name is Home is My Heart. This work is special for art night, it's very fresh and uh, I did workshop with the local people, uh, 90 years old to 19 years old. Uh, for example, this is David, David's sketch. It is so amazing. It's, it, it, this story comes from 1938. Normally, when you visit a gallery like this one, you'll be thrown out when it gets to closing time. But for one Saturday night only this year, galleries and museums across East London are throwing open their doors and keeping them open all the way until dawn. And this year, Art Night is curated by this one, the Whitechapel. Let's go and take a look inside. Australian-born artist Benedict Drew is turning one of his installations at the Whitechapel into a full-blown performance piece. It's playing over more than five hours during art night. The person behind the creative vision for this year's art night is Turkish curator Fatosh Ustek. There is a theme that is underlying the whole festival, it's called Fusion of Horizons and Fusion of Horizons is about that transformation of realities, of knowledge when people, two people or communities or societies are in conversation with each other. From 6 o'clock on Saturday evening all the way through to 4 a.m. the next day, 11 artists have put on 13 projects for Art Night. And that's not to mention the 60 smaller initiatives that will also be taking place. First stop on our tour of East London's Art Night is this place, the Nichols and Clark showroom, because there's a very special installation on the other side of this wall. British artist Anne Hardy has created a specially commissioned immersive installation. I think very much about the, the artwork itself as, this, uh, as like a living entity that you enter. So in a sense that is about a transitory and momentary experience that's perhaps a bit like a dream or even a hallucination. So I think in the context of art night that's really interesting because it happens at night so that's, that's a similar kind of space and to come and see art at two in the morning is very different than at two in the afternoon but I think in terms of it going to a museum this is also an experience that can translate in terms of the experience of someone coming into the work. Warehouses, docks, even underground vaults all are being turned into gallery spaces. <laughs> Underground and above, the idea is to encounter art on every East London street. Streets make societies happen. It's where we engage, it's where we encounter each other. Calling people to celebrate being out on the streets is also not only about activating the minds, but or like freedom of movement, but it's also freedom of speech, freedom of expression. And I think it's something that needs to be cultivated, especially today, where there is a mainstream tendency going towards segregationalism. Celebrating East London's diversity, German-born artist Melanie Mancho leads a collective dance performance with 10 local dance schools featuring styles from Colombian reggaeton to 80s flash mob. 
Art Night is a fusion of a summer Saturday night party with contemporary art. The only difficulty might be working out where the art stops and the party starts. Bell Lupton, TRT World, London.